folks I want to welcome everybody to my channel and today we get let's get down to business we are going to be making some of Flo's special homemade chicken noodle soup and what it was yesterday I sent the ladies out to get some some meat and vegetables for lunch and they came back and my wife's sister whipped up some homemade chicken noodle soup and I said, damn, I should have made a video, but it was, it was too late. I'm gonna try to replicate what she did yesterday and I'll go over the ingredients. I am missing one key ingredient, but let me just show you right here what we got. We got some chicken from the little, uh, what's it called, fresh something market. It's the meat shop. And I'm gonna show you on one of my walking tours where, where we get the chicken. Or did you guys get this from the market? Okay, all right, so you got that from the, from the meat shop yesterday we've chopped up some onions and what we're missing is garlic we ran out of garlic and I didn't realize it so we need to add garlic to this but we don't have any right now so we're going with a little salt one package of magic syrup got a little soy sauce and I obviously need some oil and they just picked up these pants at Canton 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 egg noodles and that's really not enough because we used the majority of them yesterday. But for the purposes of this cooking show, that's pretty much all we need. And we're going to add a little bit of water. And I, this is probably not exactly the way <clears throat> I would cook it or I'm going to cook it in the future. <clears throat> I'm going to spice it up a little bit. <clears throat> Edit that out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spice it up a little bit. But this is how she did it yesterday. Absolutely delicious. Poured it over a bed of rice. And you know, if you're not into rice, just eat it like chicken noodle soup. But I'm coming to you from the Philippines here in Southeast Asia. Every meal in this region is obviously gonna be served with rice. Folks, I got my trusty spatula right here. Man, that thing's just so ergonomic. I mean, it is, it is, uh, seen a lot of action and it is still going you guys know how much i love my my spatula this old red wok it's been down in the village and hold on looks like we don't have it plugged in in here there we go so this old red wok's been down in the village and it is back in my possession back on the attack ready to make some deliciousness for for everybody out there all right so just a little bit of oil folks how much oil i don't know that was just a slow pour and let that oil just heat up just a little bit and you guys know you know the regulator on my walk seeing it's better days so you got to kind of just keep an eye on this thing right here but let this thing get going and Gonna drop the hammer on this chicken, my friends. I ain't messing around. Let's just get it on. So, if my camera lady can just focus in on the walk here for a minute while I get this going. And, folks, I got my, I got the beautiful Fatima Mile behind the camera. And for all my photography buffs, I'm actually shooting on this seven, eight year old Sony. Shooting in 1080 at 24 frames. And the reason for that is because when we have the, uh, the DJI and iPhone, we got a new Sony camera, all my adapters have not come in. I'm waiting on an audio adapter for the DJI so I can use an external mic. I'm waiting on the piece to mount the Sony proprietary piece so I can mount my external mics on my new Sony camera those are in the States so folks I'm basically I got new camera equipment but I don't have any way to attach my audio and so what do you do you just back off and you go with the old trusty tried and proven system this old camcorder with the Sennheiser mics and I got should have great audio coming to you 
And I know a lot of you guys have got 4K TVs and you like, you know, you got a 4K, you want to see the film in 4K. But there's nothing worse than bad audio. And I know I, I serve a lot of bad audio on this channel. Because usually just a one man show. So once I once I get these adapters in, a little bit more oil folks. Once I get these adapters in, we'll be using that DJI Osmo Pocket for all the running and gunning stuff. And then I've got that bigger Sony, which I'm gonna use like as a studio camera. And we should we should have everything upgraded. The easiest way to do it is just to shoot on the iPhone, but you know it's the best all-around camera, but it's not good for low light. And even mounting one of those Rode video micros on the iPhone, it's still not as good a quality audio as using these Sennheiser wireless microphones. All right, so you can see my walk is is not going full blast. All right. Let me mess with me fiddle with the damn thermostat here. It's cooking, but it's not going full blast. It may have something to do with that power strip I got down there. Let me pick up an extension cord where I don't have to run it through the power strip. All right, so I'm browning that stuff up, folks. As that browns, let me hit it with a little bit of soy sauce. Start getting some flavor going on here. And how much soy sauce was that? That was probably like three, three spoonfuls. What size of spoon? Eh, probably one of them big metal spoons. Now that would probably be very salty if I was just making it as a dish like this. But we're making soup. And so I'm gonna add a lot of water to this mix in just a little bit here. All right, I'll go ahead and hit it with just a little, little bit of salt. Make sure that's coming out. A little bit of salt. And we're gonna go with this Magic Wrap. And if you're not familiar with this, uh, you come to the Philippines, everybody cooks with this Magic Wrap. And if you see one of my previous cooking videos, you know, I didn't know shit about Magic Wrap. My wife and them wanted this in the mix, and they handed it to me, so I put, how many did I put in there? Like six packets, seven packets? I didn't know. Uh, she handed me seven packets, I put them all in there. I basically screwed it over. You only need one of these packets. It's just a little seasoning pack. Let's get that bad boy going. Baby, baby, you're messing up the audio. I'm trying to do a cooking show and you're over there chatting with your sister. Okay. Hey, folks, like I've said before about Filipinos, they are not culinary adventurers at all. And so I got these two ladies just looking at me like, oh man, he's going to screw it up. He's going to screw it up. All right, folks, in the Philippines, you, and when you leave this, the West, you can't, you can't uh, drink from the faucet. Most countries you go to, you can't use the, the water from the faucet. So you get these jugs like this. And these things, I think this thing is 30 pesos. How much is it to fill it up? It's less than a dollar to fill this thing up. In some places you rent them, some places you just leave a deposit. But this place here actually made us buy the damn thing for uh, five bucks. So we own this. But when we go to fill it up, what is it, 30? What is it, ladies, 30 pesos? 35 pesos folks okay now look these ladies are probably going to shriek when i put this much water in here but you know i'm making chicken noodle soup and yesterday there wasn't enough broth and so today i want to make sure that that we've got uh, actual soup going on because the foreign guy loves the gravy All right, so we got enough going on right there. And I'm not I'm not satisfied with the with the chicken being done, so I'm just, I'm just going to cover this for a minute, folks. And I'm going to let that 
I'm gonna keep it on high. Kind of clean off my workspace here. I'm gonna let that thing simmer for a few more minutes. Before I add these uh, pans to Canton, Canton noodles. It's, you can't say pans to Canton. Okay, you can't say pans to Canton. You gotta say pans to Canton like that. So you can practice it with me, Canton. So uh, let me show you a couple things that we did. This is a water jug. One of these water jugs right here from Absolute. And you know we're all about recycling. Uh, upcycling and reusing so we didn't have any bowls when we first checked into this place and so we just cut that out boom we got a set of bowls right there just like that you need a plate just just cut it on down like that you got plates saucers so we got a bowl right there and we also take these take the plastic bottles cut them off and make 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 cups and you know reuse the hell out of those but I want to give a big shout out to my buddy Dennis because after we had made all this homemade stuff, Dennis said, hey man, I bought a set of plates and a set of uh, beer mugs. And it's just me, but I had to buy like a set of four. So Dennis loaned us some beer mugs and some actual uh, no shit plates over there. So big shout out to my buddy Dennis. Man, thanks for uh, hooking us up with that. But folks, you know, when you don't, you don't have money and stuff, you don't have resources, you become resourceful. And that's a great bowl. That thing will last a long time. I think a good salad bowl, really. You know, you get a set of those and put a salad in there. That's a great salad bowl. Perfect. All right, so let's check on this. Oh, yeah, we're a, we're a full rolling boil. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a full, full rolling boil. Oh, that chicken is tender. But you know when I cook, folks, you know me. All right, I put the I put the meat on the heat. I put the hammer down. I drop the hammer. Stomp on that throttle, folks. I don't mess around when it comes to meat. And I know when I cook them steaks, everybody was hammering me about ruining those steaks. Oh my God, he cooked them steaks. Just murdered those steaks. Folks, I like my shit well done. I like my meat dark just like I like my women. I'm not apologizing for that. And I'm going to tell you right now, you study evolution, ain't no caveman put a damn steak on a damn fire, you know, for 30 seconds just to get the grill marks on there and ate that shit raw. No. Okay, it's the reason we're here. We, we harness fire, cooked the shit out of the meat, killed all the pathogens, and people lived. You didn't cook that shit properly, you died. That's the way it was. Yeah, I'm a fucking caveman, so I cooked the shit out of my my meat, and that's the way it's gonna be. Right now, folks, drinking out of my little Yeti cup, and uh, shout out to my mom. I mean, she sent me this. What a great gift for either a, a coffee drinker or a beer drinker. This thing is like magic. I mean, right now I'm drinking uh, Imperador. A Pirador, a little soda, a little Jamaica lime juice, and some ice. Now, folks, that's delicious. And if I leave a drink by the bed, I wake up in the morning, it's still ice cold. I don't even got to go to the ref. I just reach over, grab it, boom, first drink in the morning, 4.30 a.m. It's wonderful. Same way, you leave your coffee in there all damn day, you come back, it's hot. It's, it's magic. So, uh... Shout out to Yeti, great product. Appreciate my mom sending that to me. That's the Rambler with that 20 ounce tumbler. Hell yeah, love it. All right, folks, so we got this thing in a rolling boil right here. We got the baby over there hollering. All right, so I'm gonna turn this down. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. We'll get these noodles in here. And again, this this is this is nowhere near enough noodles. I don't think. But uh, we used most of them yesterday. And these noodles were like 35 pesos. And I actually, um, I'm doing a blog post on this with the ingredients and how much they cost. 
So, hey, Forrest G. So you check out the the, the link is down in the description to the blog post. And I'll tell you how much it costs. But basically, it's a five dollar meal here in the Philippines. It's a five dollar meal, and it fed three of us. Probably feed four. You, you stack stack this on top of the rice. You know, and again, if you're from the West, you're probably not going to put this on rice. But over here, even though we made chicken noodle soup, we're going to pour this over <laughs> over a big plate of rice. You know, rice in most part of the world is the equivalent to uh, bread. Hold on a second, Flo. Now these noodles are not going to take. They're not going to take long. They're not going to take long, and I don't want them to get them too soggy. And again, I want to make soup today. I'm not, you know, usually I'm a sauce guy. Usually I boil this down until it's a sauce. But today, and I want to add just a little bit more water because I, I do want, I do want this to be soupy. So I'm gonna add a little bit more water in here. Just slow that down. But these these noodles, these like little homemade noodles that you buy here locally, they don't take long. They don't take long at all to. Uh, cook. I'm going to tell you right now, smell coming off this thing is, is wonderful. And just that magic wrap, just that little bit of soy sauce, and you know, a pinch of salt. And you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit it with just a little bit of soy sauce since I put that extra water. Just a little bit more. But I'm confident, I'm confident this is going to come out exactly the way Flo intended it to yesterday and the only thing we're missing again is the garlic now, folks that's that's some homemade chicken noodle soup right here you can make this at home too easy you know what's it 10 minutes 10 minutes you can whoop this up for your family and hell of a lot better than Campbell's or any other shit you can pull out of a can. That's it. Oh my goodness. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn down the heat. I'm gonna let this thing simmer for a few minutes. I'm just gonna let it simmer. Matter of fact, I'll go ahead and kill the heat right now and just say, uh, Thank you guys once again for joining us. We're gonna start doing some more cooking shows now that I got my my little red wok back in action here. And we're coming to you from the Philippines, my friends. I'm near Subic Bay, Barrio Barreto, chilling out with some uh, some friends up here and just enjoying life. I'll give this a minute to cool down, and then I'll come back and we're gonna. What do they say? We're gonna plate it. We're gonna plate this, give a taste test, and let you know what the final product looks like, my friends. Okay, folks. So, got the table set. Just come on over a little bit closer. And let me just pop the top on that. And there you go. There's our homemade chicken noodle soup. And right, so the way we're gonna serve it up here in the Philippines. Like I said, everything over here is going to be served up with, on a bed of rice or with rice. And man, these ladies, I think they burn the rice a little bit. Huh? That, that rice is so dry, it's got a little burn to it. They didn't put enough water in there. Man, that rice is dry, ladies. Next time, you guys got to put a little more water in there. My goodness. Okay. All right, folks. So I don't have a uh, I don't have a big spoon, so I'm gonna have to just improvise with my spatula here. Look at that! I'll get the juice in a second. Look at those noodles. Perfect, golden brown. Hope the light's hitting that per good enough there. Like I said, the only thing we're missing is the uh, is the garlic. Let's see if I can get a little juice with this rice scooper. 
No, can't get can't get them to juice. So let me just use this little cup. Cause the foreign guy loves the gravy. A little more juice. All right, there we go. All right, so let's set that guy right there for now. And folks, there's your finished product right there. And for us, it's a $5 meal. It's gonna feed three of us. And obviously we could do it a little bit cheaper, but we went with a little more chicken. But uh, roughly five bucks, feed three people. Homemade deliciousness. So let me just, uh, let me just try one bite of this right here. Cause these, these ladies, they're, they're chomping at the bit. They're so pissed off that I'm gonna eat right in front of them. But I told them we're running a cooking show, okay? So ladies, just watch me while I savor these noodles. Man, they're so mad, folks. Well, let me just let me just take a bite of this right here. Mm. Folks, that is 100% on time. Now, if you're in the West, you don't need that rice. Just put some saltine crackers all around that thing. Mash you up like a whole pack in there. That is going to be a meal for you, my friends. So, message to all my men out there. Man, when you get home, I just showed you how to do this shit. Stop by the grocery store, pick this stuff up, pour you a big whiskey and uh, soda, make your wife some homemade chicken noodle soup. And we're calling it Flo's Homemade Chicken Noodle Soup. And surprise her with it. But just drop them saltines in there, my friends. If you're not a subscriber on my channel, bottom right hand corner of your screen, smash that Overstay Road sign. And food, beer, and visas, bad behavior, drunkenness, everything in between, that's what you're gonna get here. And nothing scripted. And we just do wherever, we'll go wherever the wind blows us and we do whatever pops into my head after I've had a few. Thanks for joining me, my friends. I'll see you on the next uh, episode of my cooking show, next adventure, or the next live stream. Peace out.